Mini testing on Knock Hill is very much underway and we've got the hybrid trio here, the Scottish hybrid trio and it's great to see you guys all looking absolutely factory. I've got to say I love the suits, the cars are matching and the speeds there as well. Hannah, you're in the middle, you're going to be the spokeswoman just now. How has testing gone for you today, these mixed conditions at Knock Hill? I'm really enjoying the mixed conditions. The car is fighting me a bit today but I'm glad that it's happening today to get it out of the way so when we go into Friday we can really go for it, hit the ground running. Had a couple of problems this morning but I've been enjoying the wet weather as well so got the car back together, it's working fine I just want to keep pushing those breaking points and get back on the power. Is that what you learn on a day like today? Is it just dialing yourself back into the circuit? Yeah, it's been a long wait since the last round Alton Park. I think it's been about seven weeks so definitely re reminding myself how to drive the thing just getting used to it again and just getting back into the groove. Now we've got Kyle as well here who's in uh, who's in for one weekend only just now but that might change you never know. Kyle it's great to see you back uh, you've raced these cars quite a lot before the, the previous Cooper version as well is it like putting on a comfy pair of shoes or is it a bit more than that? Uh, no it's a little bit more than that um, first session this morning it was a bit mixed conditions I kind of I was starting to find my feet towards the end but maybe a second off the guys the front runners which I mean, it's my first time in a year to be back out in the car, but there in the wet session, I was right up there, just behind Joe, so, yeah, happy. You know what it's like, though, when you get behind somebody that's faster, that's been in them all year, they do tend to drag you on. A, are you essentially looking for a wee bit of a toe in this test day, as well as finding out settings for the car? Yeah, for sure. I mean, even with Sam, who's leading the championship, I was in behind him there, and it was bringing my own confidence levels up. Yeah, so things, I mean, fingers crossed for this weekend, get a good result, to, especially for Steve, giving me this opportunity and putting me in with hybrid, so... Very lucky. Yeah, it's great to see you back. And you two guys have had a really good, clean morning. Jotana, this morning, uh, pushing the boundaries out there, finding the limit very early on. And uh, that's what you've got to do. It's testing. It's the best time to do it. We're not messing around. We're pushing as hard as we can, you know. Um, and I made a mistake this morning and ended up in the gravel. I'd, I'd do it more often than you think. It's just I can't hide here because you're all watching. But you're on the edge here. And, like, this championship's really hard. Everybody's quick. And uh, I actually made a bigger mistake before that. This morning, I came out in the pit lane and got all excited and thought I was the big man and did a big a big wheel spin in the pit lane and snapped the drive shaft. <laughs> I hadn't even done like 20 metres and I had to sit out the first session so I thought right well let's calm it down and then I went and binned it in the next one so not the best start but in the wet there really happy, car's so good, I mean the car's so good wet to dry but in the wet conditions I think we've got something extra, I hope we've got something extra um, and it just feels like, I mean it feels like it's dry crazy yeah you are a, a former pole man in this this series here you know exactly what it takes to get up there but the competition the strength and depth through the mini field is huge yeah there's guys i mean i'm in my second season so i've got no excuses but there's guys done five six seven years at this you know everybody's quick you can't really pick anyone at the minute i said earlier in the week when i spoke to you that i've got a feeling about jack mitchell he's on my mind and he was really fast this morning um but jack davidson's quick as well everybody knows the place so well you know everyone's a not kill specialist these days but um, it's going to be super tight, it's going to be super close, um, I just hope I'm there. I have to say, there's no such thing as a real home advantage, is there? There maybe is a little bit with the crowd on race day, but everybody knows every racetrack in Britain that well. But for you, I mean, you're in the same team with these guys, they're, they're friends, but ultimately, when the helmets go on and the visors go down, oh, the I window hate nets, yeah, I hate <laughs> yeah, yeah. every man <laughs> a for themselves. Yeah, absolutely, of course, we are a team, and I'm aware of, I think out of the team, no offence to these two, obviously, but I think the one that I do have my that is in the back of mine is Sam in his position leading the championship he's got a really nice lead in the championship so that would be one person that you'd maybe think oh, okay we're we're in a team together but sorry guys with these guys I'm not bothered <laughs> oh, lovely words from Joe Tanner towards the end of his teammates here let's get them riled up the leader of the JCW Mini Challenge right now as it stands coming into Knock Hill is Sam Weller he's got a pretty comfortable lead in the championship which must bring you here in good spirits but you have dropped scores to take into that so you just need to keep pushing all the way is that the case? Yeah I've got to keep pushing keep picking points up um, here's you know it's going to be probably my one of my weaker tracks I'd say just not done a huge amount of running around here like you know a lot of us southerners haven't <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, just just gotta pick up as many points as I can. You know, at the end of the day, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard beating my uh, my teammates around here. So if I can do that, then uh, I think I'll be I'll be right up there. But we'll see. Do the Scottish teammates that you have? You've got three of them. He's uh, he's kind yeah. of mob handed this weekend. Team Scotland. Uh, yeah. Are they giving you are they giving you helpful advice? Or is it a bit of a, maybe a toe on this test day? Where they say follow me? Yeah. So. Yeah, I was I was sort of following Joe in, in the first session, but he fired himself off. So I mean, and then the next one he just left me for dead. So uh, yeah, yeah, they're definitely helping 100%. These guys, you know, 
it's not an easy circuit to learn, particularly because you know, the S's, you, you've got no reference for where to turn in, where to position the car. Um, so yeah, following their lines through there is, uh, is definitely helpful. And who do you see your rivals being this weekend? Um, well, apart from my teammates, you know, Jack Mitchell's going to be yeah. going to be quick. Jack Davidson's going to be quick. You know, Ronan Pearson, Lockwood was quick here last year. It's going to be it's going to be a bunch of guys that are really quick, and obviously, you know, the Scottish guys in the championship turn up here, don't they? So. Yeah. Making a racing return this year in the GCW Mini Challenge, we've got none other than Ross Marshall, the man who is now very much behind Beatson's Building Supplies. And Ross, you've been out on motorsport for quite some time. The last time you were racing, if I'm not mistaken, you were in a legend race car. So to come back after a, a little bit of rallying into one of these, how has your season been so far? Uh, the season so far has been a bit of up and down, a uh, bit of a baptism of fire earlier on in the year. Just thought to myself, what the hell have I got myself into? Front wheel drive, a lot of power, slicks, which is all completely new to me. Uh, had a couple of big slides and normally in the rear wheel drive cars you can balance it on the throttle, but these things you just need to be very tentative with the steering wheel and keep the power on. So a couple of big moments, not knowing exactly what to do, but as the season's gone on, halfway through the season now, we're kind of getting to grips with it now and the pace is beginning to show. Are you looking forward to racing around Not Kill again and especially going underneath that almost famous, iconic Beatson's Building Supplies bridge now? Uh, to be honest, it's the first time I've driven Not Kill in probably for 10 years. Really? So, uh, 10 oh, years. Uh, but I forgot how good a track it is. Like, see, you've got Duffus blind, Chicane blind, Clark's blind, but just the way you can use the curb around here, it's just it puts smiles on your face all the time. And then... The grip that these things get with the slicks down Duffus compared to the legends, it's just phenomenal. The, the speed you can carry down. So, first dry session today, we just weren't committed enough looking at the data with the guys there, just saying need to carry more speed, more speed. So, hopefully, it's dry this afternoon and we can try and carry that speed. But that's what it's all about. It's, it's, it's a learning learning curve for you. You've got, you've got a plan in place with, with Graves Motorsport. And I've got to say, I think the car looks fabulous. I love the introduction of the gold as well. So, maybe a little bit more gold for this weekend? Uh, well, we've got gold wheels coming this weekend, just there's, there's seven cars that Graves run, so it's a massive operation and all the wheels are black or red, so just to identify them a bit easier, we went gold and then rather than just having gold wheels, I wanted to introduce gold into the side of the car and then we've got one of the sponsors on the roof, Alan Water, they've got gold in their logo as well, so it's just to make it merge together as opposed to just sticking it on. A little bit of bling. A little bit of bling goes a long way in a race car. It does. I wish you the best of luck. I'm looking forward to... I've, I've not commentated on Ross Racing for a long time as well. So it's, uh, you were racing with me last I know, time. <laughs> I know, but the racing return of Ross Marshall, the minis this weekend. It's going to be good to see how this man gets on. He's fast, he's very fast, and it won't be through lack of trying. Let's see if he gets on qualifying, an important part of the weekend, something that Ross is working hard on with the team. So let's see if he gets on, and we wish you the best of luck. Thanks very much. Cheers, buddy. Cheers.